what's going on everybody it's your boy here give you guys a review for the real housewives of atlanta like i said i have my tea ready i hope y'all got something to sip on so let's go ahead and get into this shit shall we Phaedra's getting ready to set up a pop-up shop for the uh, flint water crisis and to my understanding that shit is still going on it is a fucking travesty but it is what it is i mean i do believe that we should you know clean up our backyard and our front y'all but we sit here and start worrying about somebody else's but that's not here nor there and m I'm, i must say well one Aiden's is going to be a part of it and i must say no matter how much shit i say about phaedra i'm saying her name right only because of the fact that regardless of what she does to other people she is doing an outstanding job of raising her children i'll give her that Sheree meets up with Marlo, um, so she's interning, if you will, or um, sitting in for um, Michelle, her designer. So she's looking at, you know, fucking wall treatments, nobody cares. They're catching up. Marlo says she doesn't trust Kenya, feels that Kenya is fake, phony, and swish it up. Uh, she was invited to a birthday party, but lo and behold, she didn't even get uh, a formal invite. We saw a picture on IG and saw Nene in the picture. And if y'all recall, they even showed a playback of, you know, Marlo going in on Nene. And I believe it was on behalf of Kenya. And I believe it was at like a baseball event, some shit like that. And I think Boy, she had it. I don't fucking remember. It was seasons ago. Seasons, seasons ago. But she feels that's what it is. And she probably, you know, wants people with the status quo, you know, associated with her. Who knows? Who cares? And then, of course, Sheree being the mess of Diana she is. Okay. Had to bring up the whole housewarming and how the shit was in shambles. I mean, it is what it is, but at least somebody is sleeping in their house right now. But I'm going to leave that where it's at. Now, though I ain't going to speak about it, you know, Matt bust the windows out her car. And though it didn't mend his broken heart, he'll probably always have these ugly scars. But right now, he don't care about that part. Busting windows and shit, who the fuck cares? But Candy says her house is open if she needs a couple days to get away. Says, what would your father say? She said, get a restraining order. She might get a fucking restraining order. We will fucking damn see. So I want to start off by saying that there was a lot of shade that was thrown. I'm not going to catch it up. Well, let me phrase that. I'm not going to talk about it all. Why? Because damn, y'all should have watched it. If y'all didn't watch it, well, you know what? Damn it, too sad. I don't, I don't know what the fuck did. But, where we starting at? I'm going to combine the last two. So, Cynthia says there was a, a glitch with uh, her um, person in the house. Apparently, uh, another appraisal was done. And the um, pretty much how much the property actually cost was lower than what they actually settled for. So, they have to go back and get third appraisal. So, she's not moving in just yet. Okay. Um... Kenya speaks with Phaedra about them having both similar situations, don't care. Kenya then goes over to Candy House. Now, Candy, okay, before I say that, Kenya's not getting a restraining order. Again, I don't care. But Candy had no idea that Kenya would actually take her up on that offer. Cynthia pops up, explains her situation. So, from the looks of it, both of them are going to be staying at Candy's. Now, they talk about the percentage, the percentages of the pop-up shops. And... Um, let me see. It was Cynthia that brought up. There was shade within text messages. I'm, I'm, like I said again, I don't really fucking care. But um, she mentioned Cynthia mentions how well Sheree said that it was a lower number. You know, she is a walking tape recorder, and Candy was like somewhat, but she don't always tell everything. And then mentions how they had their little sit down. They stand the third, and it is what it is. They find they get to the venue to kind of look at the space and whatnot. Again, a little shots being thrown, you know, about, you know, the whole 50%, whether it be Gross versus Nat, you know, of course, uh, Kenya had to throw her shade towards Portia being the dits. Portia says she know what it is. I'm being nice with names right now. Um, and I believe it was Portia made a comment about uh, Candy making a wall full of dildos and Candy, and I was appreciative that Candy did a read right down the spot and not just in her confession because her confession she was like well out of all these businesses i'm actually the one you know collecting the most money I, and then she went then went on to say well i can build a wall out of all of the products that i do have but i'm only going to bring a couple because i don't want to sit here and outshine everybody else you know what Candace? you best to get they ass together you tight teeth bitch i love you 
All right, so Cynthia is in her house. She's reminiscing uh, about the good times, the bad times, all the good jazz. She has to give over the keys. That's it. See, I gave it to y'all in under 10 seconds, but, but I got it. Sentimental value, all that good. I, I got it. Um, Sheree. Okay, so we're, they're all, we're all with pop-up booth shit now. Now, of course, uh, Sheree shaved the fuck out of Kenya. Because Kenya has this big uh, white background, which I would be scared to do either white or black only because one stains easily and the other one can show like dust and all the other stuff. But it was nice. Big ass band that she hate like why she got that big ass band of this and the third and you them bottles up there. Well, I hope they got a product in it. Now Kenya already got it together, but I'm gonna say this. <laughs> so the, the equivalent of her having product, having bottles of water, is the equivalent of her having a house that she can't fucking live in with no fucking furniture. But again, we've already fucking established that. But Kenya went so far as to say that, you know, her booth is as empty as uh, her fucking chateau. And, I'll, and I mean, I hear the thing. I'm, I'm all for simplicity, so I'm not going to say shade her about how simplistic, you know, her uh, table was, because Kenya did that shit for us. But if I'm not mistaken, twenty dollars for a T-shirt, and I guess she's paying people to take pictures with her. So I'm, I'm hoping that she has a portable printer so they can actually get their fucking picture rather than doing the show on their phone. I hope. What else we got? So Apollo's mother and stepfather show up, right? And they go over to hug Aiden. Did anybody else catch the fact that Aiden kind of looking at the grandma like, "Who are you?" Papa, who this woman? That was the look he gave me. Now, maybe he just felt uncomfortable. Maybe he does not spend enough time with her. I don't fucking know. I kind of expect when I go home, next time and the time after, because I'll be going home this summer, and I probably won't be back for like another two years. But I'm pretty sure my uh, middle brother just had a baby girl last year. So I'm pretty sure when I come home this year, she's going to be, uh, you know, like one and a half. I know she probably will be looking. No, I think she might be going on two right about this stuff. I'm getting. Regardless, she gonna be probably looking at me like I don't know you, and it's to be expected because I haven't been around. But that's kind of what I saw. Y'all let me know if y'all saw it. Um, so Marlo pops up. Now you have um, Sheree saying, you know, I don't know they don't you know go at it, but I don't care. And every event charity type thing that um. Phaedra has had has always been a problem, and up until this point, there hasn't been one. So, but we already know what uh, Sheree's mo is. So, can you pull some all to the side? Says I, I apologize for not inviting you to my house, woman. And Mall says it goes back to her not inviting her to the party. All right, so Marlo and Kenya go back and forth, and ultimately, what I got because again, I'm not gonna sing y'all play by play because I ain't got time to write down the petty shit because it it really wasn't about shit. It was one of those where I guess uh, Marla wanted Kenya to fess up to more and actually be a little bit more forthcoming. Kenya was pretty much trying to do the whole look. There was a lot of stuff going on. And she was trying to do get pretty much give a pageantry type. There was a lot of stuff going on. I'm sorry. And that wasn't good enough for Marla. So they, they're both going back and forth at a public at a public place where this makes Kenya look bad more so than Marla. Because Marla ain't selling shit. She's over there trying to help Sheree sell shit. Kenya is the one that's selling shit. And again, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, giving all of y'all jewels to put in y'all crowns, you know, you know, as kings and, you know, queens, depending on who the fuck watching this damn show. And it's one of those where, again, I'm putting it to you this way. And I'm going to leave you, actually, I'm going to come back because I want to leave y'all with the positive. So all the girls pretty much raised whatever money that they had. Uh, Candy said that, uh, her, um, what was I think ten thousand was no five thousand dollars worth of product was bought. Uh so pretty much she's gonna donate twenty five hundred to Portia regardless to Phaedra, regardless of how much they actually made. Uh Portia one hundred percent proceeds plus love donation. Uh Cynthia also gave, you know, what she donated. And I mean that's pretty much it. Now, back to them before I even finish this off, you know, it all ends and um Kenya says, you know what, I'm a attend to my clientele, you know, and, you know, my clientele are not, and, you know, it's not her clientele, you know, those old men. I was like, damn, why did you, why did you, why did you? But I'm going to say this, you know, from a distance, two people arguing, you can't distinguish who the fuck the fool is. 
with that being said, again, this is 2017. You know what? Sometimes if a motherfucker feels so inclined, because here's the thing, so often, you know, we seek to be understood rather than seek understanding. So if someone feels so inclined, they just have to talk, 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 let them. Again, give a cl give somebody a stage and they will perform. But when you turn off the lights, they're only going to perform for so long before they realize that, you know, can't nobody see them or there's nobody in the audience. So that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and um, share. I'll see you guys back tomorrow for Love and Hip Hop New York. All right. <laughs>